Hello and welcome to Joy of Books with me, Miss Joy. Today's offering is The Wings of Fire, series by Tsui T. Sutherland. The children's fiction book was released in 2012. Sharing their views today are Eve and Emma. So girls, please, please tell us all about this very popular series. That's right. I'm talking about the Wings of Fire series. Now, how are you today, Emma? I'm feeling great. Thanks for doing this with me. I know we have been reading this series for a long time and can't wait to share it with the viewers. Awesome to hear. I can't wait to share it as well. First off, reminding me, what are the characters featured in this beloved series? Well, Wings of Fire has many characters, featuring five new main characters, every arc, or five books. However, the first five are Sunny, Tsunami, Glory, Starflight, and Clay. In addition, most of the characters in Wings of Fire are dragons, but I forgot their personalities. Would you tell the viewers, Eve? In the books, Sunny's a sandwing and is always positive and truly believes they can stop the war going on in the first five books. Tsunami's a sea wing and a more bossy dragon, and a bit of an attack first, ask questions later kind of dragon, but her intentions are good. Clay is a mudwing and is like the oldest brother of the group, making sure that the others don't argue too much. Plus, he also loves food. Starflight is a night nightwing and the squirrel worm, aka bookworm, of the series. Plus, he isn't really the bravest dragon. Finally, Lori is the rainwing and the odd one out, featuring she isn't actually in the prophecy. She has a bit of a comedic personality and is super confident that she can do things all by herself. Oh, now I remember. That's a range of personalities. So, in a nutshell, Sunny is positive, Tsunami is bossy, Clay is the big bro with a big appetite, Starflight loves a good book, and Glory is cunning with a chance of humor? Cool! Oh, quick question. Who's your favorite character? I think I like Sunny best. She's a bit like me. I have a tie for my favorite character between Sunny and Glory. I like Glory's wits and sarcasm and Sunny's cheerful attitude. Now, if I remember correctly, you mentioned something about the prophecy and the war. Could you fill our viewers in or should I? Why are you filling them this time? Maybe not too much info. Okay. In the series, three Sandwing sisters were fighting for the throne after their mother was murdered. The nerve happens every time. <laughs> I know. Anyway, in the dragon world, if you want to be queen, you need to be a princess, sister, niece to the qu or niece to the queen, and challenge her in a fight to the death. Harsh, especially since the relatives. Since none of the princesses killed the old queen, they all started to argue. Then they all declared war. Blaze, the youngest, allied herself with the Ice Wings and most of the Sand Wings. In the book, Starflight says, and I quote, She is as smart as a concussed sheep. Blister, the middle child and the smartest of them all, allied herself with the Sea Wings. And Burn, the oldest and the most powerful, allied herself with the Mud Wings and Sky Wings. The Night Wings, who aren't involved in the war, made the Dragonette prophecy and said, A Sea Wing, Mud Wing, Nightwing, Sandwing, and Skywing would stop the war. An underground group of dragons who wanted peace, called the Towns of Peace, took care of the five dragonettes. But unfortunately, after complications with the Skywing Egg, they stole a Rainwing Egg to replace it. Glory. Yep, that basically is the prologue and intro of the story. Quick question again. What's your favorite breed of dragon again? I kind of forgot. <laughs> Nightwings and Rainwings all the way. Wow, now I remember. I myself prefer sea wings and ice wings. Anyways, let's talk more about the series. I completely lost track, Emma, but how many books are there, including the add-ons? There's so many, I keep forgetting. <laughs> That's understandable. There are 28 books if you include everything. 17 are novels, 7 are graphic novels, 1 is a how-to-draw, 1 is a coloring book, and 1 is a guide. The only reason I know is because I own all of them. Wow. Oh, I get it. That's cool. Now, let's go over what the viewers have learned. They learned about the characters, the 
prophecy, the ferocious Sandwing sisters, the different types of dragons. Now, what are we missing is now what we are missing is the setting. The story takes place on the continent of Priya, which is shaped like a dragon, kind of. Interesting. Now, I believe the rating of the first book, The Dragonet Prophecy, is 4.24 stars, correct? Correct. In comparison to the first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's or Philosopher's Stone, the ratings only have a 0 0.23 difference. The first Harry Potter book rating being 4.47 stars. I hope this novel by Tully T. Sutherland will become a classic. I bet. Many Wings of Fire fans do. I wonder how many Wings of Fire fans there are listening to this podcast. Hopefully too many to count. Our, that concludes our time together. We better get to class. However, if you're interested in a thrilling new adventure with wing with new winged characters, purchase the Wings of Fire series now or borrow from a local library. Thank you and have a great adventure and rest of your day. Bye, everyone. Remember to read because it will help you for the rest of your lives, either this series or any. And trust me on this one. Well, thank you very much for your review of the book, girls. It is clear that you both have a lot of passion for reading and for this particular series. The Wings of Fire series by Tweet T. Sutherland is available from all good book outlets. Thank you for joining me and please remember to like and subscribe to Joy of Books.